This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1618, How to Create Committed Lasting Love, and A Confession, How I Practice Relationship Sabotage, both by Dr. Diana Kirshner of lovein90days.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome to ORD, with me, your host and narrator, Greg Audino. Today, we're going to help you start your week off right with two posts instead of one. If you're new here, sometimes we will do that if we find two shorter posts that we can fit into the same, you know, eight to 10 minute time frame that we follow. So let's hear a couple of dandies from Dr. Diana Kirshner as we optimize your life. How to Create Committed Lasting Love by Dr. Diana Kirshner of lovein90days.com. Do you wonder if a committed, lasting love relationship is in your future? Does it seem impossible to achieve? Perhaps you've met the one, only to see him or her come on like crazy, but then pull back for no apparent reason. So all of a sudden, everything becomes murky and uncertain in terms of your relationship. You wonder, are you a couple or not? Has your partner met someone else? Why are they running hot and cold? Do you have a future together? Should you have the talk about where things stand? Maybe you blurted out something about the future only to find your heart sinking as your beloved pulls away and actually leaves. And you worry. Is it me? Is it my partner? Will I ever create a committed, lasting love relationship? Maybe you are in a long-term, on-again, off-again relationship where one or the other of you periodically withdraws or sees other people. For example, Have you ever been involved and in love with someone for months or even years, only to find that they simply cannot or will not take that next step into living together or marriage? The road to lasting love is full of potholes. The average time for a couple to move from dating to a committed relationship with a future that includes living together or getting married is from nine months to four years. All this varies considerably from couple to couple. But usually, if things drag on in an uncommitted state much beyond a couple of years, the relationship will tend to go downhill and eventually die. So now it's time to learn the single most important thing you can do, whether you are single or in a relationship, to win the committed love of the one you really want. Here it is. Create a lasting love intention. Write your goal down as a lasting love affirmation about you or you and your partner in the present tense, as if it is happening right now. So for example, I have passionate, fulfilling, and lasting love in my life. You might say, I deserve a full commitment from my beloved. Or you could write, Brad and I commit to moving in together. Post your lasting love intention where you and you alone can see it every day. Make sure to read your note several times a day. Give the love affirmation your full attention for just a few seconds. You do not have to believe an affirmation in order for it to work and come true. Simply say it and let yourself have a bit of an imaginary fantasy as if it were true. In fact, the latest research shows that this process can literally retrain and rewire the neural connections in your brain. And with that retraining come new thoughts positive thoughts that create even more connections in the brain, and so on. So as you practice your lasting love intention affirmation over time, your brain will create more and more connections that help reinforce your belief and love intention. Practice your lasting love intention. Reading or thinking the love affirmation will help keep your attention focused on what you want to create, instead of obsessing about past or current disappointments or worry about the future. Negative thoughts lead to fear, worry, and more uncertainties. In fact, when negative thoughts do occur, train yourself to repeat your affirmation in your mind. Do not fight doubts, fears, negative thoughts, or feelings. Just let them come, but then simply and gently repeat your lasting love affirmation. A Confession – How I Practice Relationship Sabotage by Dr. Diana Kirshner of lovein90days.com. We all practice relationship sabotage. My own tendency is to make everything all about me, especially when my husband and I argue or misunderstand each other. My worst habit that tended to undermine our love 
was my own tendency to think from a self-centered universe, and most of my paranoia was a reaction to my traumatic childhood. I was an unwanted little girl, growing up in an alcoholic family. If my husband was distant, I would think, he doesn't care about me, or I am invisible, or one of my self-sabotaging gloom and doom favorites, I'm just not attractive anymore. My relationship sabotage was rooted in, it's all about me. But when I got my head out of my ego and noticed what was really going on with him, it was a very different story. He really worried about money, or struggled with getting older or losing his edge, or worrying about business challenges. It was actually about him. I was shocked. The whole trick was to get out of my own little box of miserable self-talk so that I could focus on my husband. Soulmate listening can accomplish that miracle. For me, it's like finally getting out of a crushing pair of spanks. How Soulmate Listening Heals Relationship Sabotage Soulmate listening deepens in silence. It is in silence, when you are paying full attention to your partner, that you really get him or her. You can see the things you don't normally see. You can see the new worry lines or the new crinkle lines from laughter. You can see how he or she brings you a cup of coffee in such a sweet way. Or look into his or her eyes and feel your partner's soul. If you are really in stillness, just for an instant or two, you can feel beyond what he or she is saying and doing. And then you can experience the real love and benevolent intentions your partner has for you. And that's what heals your relationship sabotage. This week, I suggest you try pausing and listening to your partner. Be attentive and receptive to what is really going on. Try for just a minute or two each day to be in a state of soulmate listening and receptivity. You will deepen your stillness, your peace, and experience the beautiful connection that can be there for you and your partner. You just listened to the post titled, How to Create Committed Lasting Love, and A Confession, How I Practice Relationship Sabotage, both by Dr. Diana Kirshner of lovein90days.com. And a great pair of posts from Diana today. I think I particularly appreciated how vulnerable she was in her second post about her own destructive relationship tendencies. And I guess my hope today is that everyone can take note of this. I know it may seem simple, but it's hugely effective to be honest and upfront with ourselves about the part that we play in relationships. Even if our partners are, you know, seemingly causing 95 plus percent of the problems that we perceive, we still, we might ask ourselves what we do to invite those problems or that behavior, or why we haven't left, or why we justify that behavior, etc. Even if we are on our best behavior in relationships and putting our best foot forward, we can and should at least consider the role that we play and the responsibility that we can take. If we're honest with ourselves and brave enough to ask these questions, we're likely going to find some unexpected answers. Food for thought, everyone. Thanks for entertaining me today, as it is time to get going for now. I appreciate you listening until the end and sharing this post, or posts, plural, with someone who you feel might need one or both of them. Enjoy your Monday and have a great start to your week. I'll see you again tomorrow with another article. That's where your optimal life awaits.